Exactly one month ago, the Secretary of State and the First Lady were hosting this International Women of Courage Award ceremony in Washington, spotlighting the work of women around the world who show courage in the face of injustice. But someone was missing on that stage. A Finnish investigative journalist named Jessica Aro was supposed to be there, but her invite was rescinded almost at the last minute. It appears that someone at the State Department was worried about Aro's past criticism of President Trump, that they were worried about what it would look like if she was on stage with the First Lady. Well, now Senate Democrats have been investigating. They've been getting documents from the State Department about what happened behind the scenes. So I spoke with Aro about what it was, about what she believes happened and what she still wants to know. And also, maybe most importantly, about the courageous reporting that she did to earn the award in the first place. It was originally my investigations concerning the international influence, the impact of Kremlin's social media propaganda army, the so-called Kremlin trolls. And I specifically started to investigate how are they capable of manipulating real people's ideas and even behavior, and not just in Russia, but also across Russia's borders. So thanks to your work covering this propaganda war, uh, you were up for the International Women of Courage Award. How did you first find out that you were going to be honored? I found out in January 25th when an embassy employee in Helsinki um, proceeded to me and told me that I would be the one um, getting this uh, honorable, precious award. And I was just so happy uh, <laughs> because my work has also caused me so much um, troubles and I have become target of series of crimes, uh, aggravated crimes as well. So I was just so honored and I was really looking forward to be able to travel to America and to share my investigations and help journalists in America also to cover this topic. So yeah, um, but then it was taken away. Yeah, Foreign Policy magazine uh, is the outlet that first revealed what happened here. It was your criticism of the president mm. on Twitter uh, that caused this to happen. How did you react? I was just pleased to get more information because mm. uh, at that time I didn't have any explanation of why the award was cancelled. So I was really delighted to hear more. But when I learned about these sources who were telling that it was really about my tweets, um, I was horrified. I had tweeted uh, straight, directly, as an answer to President Trump's tweet, in which Trump was himself attacking the media and claiming that rigged and corrupt media is the enemy of the people. And I had directly answered to him and I had told him that Kremlin doesn't need any troll factories as long as they have you trolling on their behalf. So I was thinking, was it then this? But then I also thought, well, I still stand by what I said and what I tweeted. And I think that um, President Trump's attacks against the media are disgraceful and need to be also um, discussed on Twitter as well. When Foreign Policy came out with this article, the State Department kind of denied revoking your award for political reasons. The State Department instead said this was a regrettable error. That's uh, outrageous and it's also factually incorrect. That's why I was so thankful when I uh, found out that there is an investigation into the topic by the Democratic senators. I'm really enthusiastically looking forward to the possible Inspector General's investigation because I really want to know um, who was the person who really gave the order to cancel my award and what would he or she like to tell about her motivation in doing so?